Hello friends, welcome back to my home. Today we're doing something that I have been wanting to do for some time. If a lot of you watch Jamarelle Stewart here on YouTube, she makes frequent trips to a store that has been titled America's Cheapest Grocery Store. I'm really excited, I've never been to this store. I am a budget-friendly shopper, I like Costco. We do a lot of bulk food shopping here on my channel. So I think that this is gonna be a fun experience for all of us, and I can't wait till the end to give you my true thoughts between the places I shop and this store that's supposed to be one of the biggest deal catchers out there. So let's go ahead and head to America's cheapest grocery store. All right, after about an hour's drive, we've reached Sharp Shopper. I am so curious about this store and curious to see what it holds in comparison to Costco and the other bulk food shops that we shop at. So let's get a cart and let's start shopping. I decided to start in aisle one and it appears to be a lot of drinks. Everything seems to be on like very big skids or um, crates, I guess. And you can see that all of the prices are sort of on the fronts of everything. So we will explore it aisle by aisle. I found my first great deal and this actually for sure beats Costco's prices. This is $6.99 for a 15 pack of buy waters. Um, these are something that we really like to get and this is a very, very great deal. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these for sure. Um, I can't tell you the exact price of what these would be at Costco, but they would be more than $10 for a pack like this. So the fact that they're $6.99 is a steal. I don't have any need for a lot of things in cans and canned things but that's what this aisle is mostly made up of like canned meats and vegetables and pasta sauces and things like that so i thought i would just mention that they do have these things here but it's not something i'm interested in today this aisle has a lot of box mixes and then we go kind of into cereal cereal is something i don't buy all that often um but here's the price that you've got on a more like sweetened cereal and they have other different types of cereal too i don't know that these prices are extremely good compared to aldi um, or getting large cases at costco but like i said i don't buy cereal all that often this area is kind of interesting they have a lot of pasta in bags and they also seem to have some in bulk bags which i didn't know that that's something Sharp Shopper does, but they do have some bulk items, it appears as though, and then they have like of the bigger bags of cereal down here. And I think these are pretty good prices for pasta. Here you have 99 cents um, for these bags and these as well. Then you have egg noodles, that's something we use a lot for $1.29. So I'd say these, these prices seem to be really good here you have 99 cents spaghetti um noodles and angel hair elbows some other different types of egg noodles um and it's a really nice selection i like how they have everything displayed hey friends we're going to take a quick break from today's video to share with you this week's sponsor Drio. Drio is the number one fan and heater brand in the US. Today I'm sharing with you the Space Heater Solaris 718. This is a fantastic, very sleek, great looking space heater that will fit into any space and bring you the warmth you desire. It has five heat settings along with three fan cooling settings. With 120 degree ultra wide customizable oscillation, you will be able to put the heat where you want it when you want it. With a digital thermostat range of 41 degrees to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, you are able to adjust it to your comfort setting. Because of the sleek aerodynamic design, you're gonna get faster warm air delivery, 
meaning that it's going to heat up your space quicker and more efficiently. This smart heater does come with an eco mode that maximizes comfort and savings. It's going to give you a 50% energy savings whenever it's in this mode. The heat coverage is 300 square feet. It also has a handy remote control so you are able to adjust it from across the room and this is going to be such a great addition to any space during these colder winter months. Put Drio on your Black Friday shopping list because they are going to be having a fantastic sale of their products. Thanks again to Drio for sponsoring today's video. All right, so here is something that definitely is not a good price in comparison to Costco. And the, these packs of toilet paper are $21.99 and you can see they kind of have a layer of six on the bottom and I'm not quite sure. It says 24 rolls. They're a pack at my Costco is about three to four times this size for $20. So definitely not as great of a deal here. They have lots of personal care items, band-aids, peroxide, uh, fingernail polish remover, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, that sort of thing in this area. This area is kind of interesting. It sort of seems like a mismatch area. There's just little bits and pieces of stuff not in big skids like they were in the first aisle with all of the drinks and stuff. So I'm going to assume this is the stuff they're trying to mark down and get out the door. So they have little sauces and jars and things like that that are sort of just this, that, and everything mixed together. This area is interesting to me. It had, they have a bunch of just different foil pans. So this would be great for freezer meal prepping. These are huge, like absolutely huge. I haven't seen ones like this for quite some time. Um, but you can see how big they are, they're just massive, but great for events and for freezer meal prepping. I found this little section of canning jars and lids, some pickling mixes. So obviously this is like their area for food preservation items. Here is some Sure Gel. These prices I would say are pretty comparable to like a Walmart or anything like that. Um, I don't necessarily think that they are any better but if you're here and you need to grab them, they have this stuff for you if you're getting ready to do a project. This little flag took my attention, local items. So this whole area right here has home canned items, which I think is so cool, especially if you don't have the ability to do your own canning. And I don't know if this is at all Sharp Shoppers or it's just something that is available here. Here they're saying, a local product from Cass Kitchen. These are like barbecue sauces. So really neat to see that they support local businesses and also homemade foods. If you can't do them yourself, they have pickles, honey, jams and jellies, applesauce, sauerkraut, pears. Um, I even see up here some dilly beans. Those are like a pickled green bean. So lots of homemade goodies love love seeing this because not everybody can do home canning it's not just something that everyone can do and so I love seeing the um, offering of this here at this store all right so this is so interesting to me they have the bulk candy like you all have seen me show you at a lot of the Amish and Mennonite bulk food stores um, this seems to be kind of a bulk food aisle which yeah, obviously is very familiar to me. Very, very interesting to me. Um, it kind of fades from candy. We have snacks here, things like popcorn that you can pop, um, pretzels that are in bulk form, <laughs> about any kind of pretzel you can think of. Um, you have nuts here, dried fruits. Um, and so a lot of these I've seen in bags before, but it's interesting that they put them into containers, which is nice. It's a great way to be able to store them for sure. And then we kind of fade into like more cooking things here, things like soup bases, bouillon, 
um, flavorings. We have rice, beans. You can kind of see all of it here. It looks so familiar to the bulk food stores that I am very used to going to. So, oh, we got the Jello. Remember, I said that before in a bulk food shopping video. You're always going to find powdered Jello. <laughs> And we've got sprinkles and more baking things like flours and sugars and that sort of thing in a bulk form. So if you have a sharp shopper near you but you don't have a bulk food store, you may be able to find bulk items in this way. Now we're heading into the very large cooler section. They have a couple aisles of this and I'm more interested in this type of thing than a lot of the prepackaged foods um, like cereal and things like that so let's see what we can possibly find they seem to have a few health-minded items here and there seeing these protein waffles and then looks like an organic flax waffle there um, here we have birch benders I like that brand a lot there's some waffles and it seems to be like a sausage and bacon area. They have prepackaged meals, like meals you can heat up to go. Um, a pretty big variety in this section. I did want to mention that in the freezer section, I did notice a few more health conscious options um, and different meats and things that would be a great option if Sharp Shopper is in your neighborhood and you're able to stop by and check them out. Um, I don't necessarily think that their prices were better than, you know, Aldi, Costco, Walmart, those kinds of places. Um, but I would say that you may be able to find a deal where you have a slight discount. Um, I didn't really want to take a lot of frozen stuff with me this day just because I was so far from home and um, I didn't really need any of this stuff, but they do have some frozen veggies in bigger bags and things like that. So if you don't have the option of other stores um, like Co uh, Costco and Aldi, I know I keep mentioning them and I'm going to mention them a lot in this video, but if you don't have that option, um, this is a great place to check out uh, some of those things like frozen meats and stuff like that. But if you are going to be able to shop at Aldi or Costco, you're going to be able to get something that probably has a better Best Buy date on it than a lot of the things at this because it's a grocery outlet. Again, another local business being supported, which I love to see. It's this lettuce and it is grown by a family. Um, I believe they have a greenhouse that they can grow year round but they have a very nice selection of fresh vegetables and produce. This is where I'm hoping to find a few things um, at a good price. All right, I found another good deal, and this is something that we do eat on um, the Too Good. These are three for a dollar, so we're probably gonna take all that they have here, plus these are great flavors. Um, I've heard that this is a good place to get yogurt for a good price, so that is tr ringing true today. This is something I'm not going to pick up today, but it is a good price. $1.99 for Stokes. Um, generally, I think they're more like somewhere between four and six um, in the store, regular store, so that's a great price for that. I thought this area was worth noting. They have a lot of books that are 25% off their cover price. Lots of kids' books and other um, cookbooks and things like that. Here's some Bibles. And then on this side, um, they have some neat cookbooks, Amish cookbooks and things like that. So I thought this was really neat, especially being a book lover myself, that they have a area that it's discounted. After we were done at Sharp Shopper, we went up the road to a small store. I believe it was Amish owned. There were Amish working there and Mennonites. Um, but it is a cute little shop. I don't want to say the name wrong, so I'm going to leave the name of this shop in the description box below. This is in the Belleville area of Pennsylvania, um, 
And obviously I had no idea about it because we are not from this area at all. So it was a nice little surprise to stumble upon. My parents growing up were big supporters of small businesses and local businesses. And so um, they really gave it to me whenever you go past a small sh shop and you can see that it seems to be family owned um, to stop in, give them a little business, kind of look around. I just love seeing all of the local um, little names and labels and things like that. Just such a special feeling to know that there are people in your area that make these things or provide them or grow them and um it's just so much fun. Personally, I have a total blast looking in little shops like this. And then they also had a sort of ice cream shop slash deli that was there and that also provided a full like coffee bar. So I was able to get an iced matcha. My daughter's got some ice cream. They even had area for you to sit down and enjoy your lunch. They seem to have a few lunch items or food items that you can sit down and just have a quick bite to eat. So really neat little place and everything that we got and tasted there was really delicious. After we were done at Sharp Shopper, we actually stopped at a thrift store not far from there. So I wanted to show you a few little goodies before I show you the Sharp Shopper haul. And we found some magazines. It's actually something, a magazine subscription that we already have but these are some older uh, copies of it. And so the girls were delighted to find those for 50 cents a piece. It is the Clubhouse magazine. Um, I can leave a link for it in the description box if you are interested in a great kids magazine. They also have a Clubhouse Junior and one for teenage girls. So I can leave all that info below. And then we found this cute little rocking horse. The girls were just so taken by it thought that their doll babies could fit on it. And then the best find, of course, we are a big game family. You all know that if you watch regularly. And I found this giant Uno game. My daughters were really taken by the idea of this game just because they love Uno. And this is what the cards look like. Oh, these are in great condition. They don't even look like anyone used them. Um, they look like they sat in someone's cabinet. So the original price is actually on here of $23 and I paid $4 for it. So super excited about that. I just had to share. I know that a lot of you love to thrift as well. So let's move on to the Sharp Shopper haul and then my thoughts, opinions about whether or not I feel like it is the cheapest grocery store in America. Okay, so you might be able to tell a little bit of what my opinion of quote unquote the cheapest grocery store in America is by the size of this haul. So I have many, many thoughts about all of this, but I do want to kind of disclaimer this a little bit with you having an understanding that I live in central Pennsylvania we have lots of access to Amish and Mennonite outlet stores and bulk food stores. And I know that many of you that are from other states and also from other countries have commented on my bulk food videos saying, I wish so bad I had stores like this near me or if these even existed where I live. So I know that we have such a, we are so blessed to have access to those types of stores. So I am comparing this a little bit to those stores along with Costco. Um, and so we'll, we'll get to Costco here after a bit, but I wanna talk about my thoughts with this today. So I got the case of buys for $6.99. We, we bought all of the yogurts that they had um, that were three for a dollar. Um, that are the two good yogurts. And then I grabbed this Tropicana uh, Zero Sugar Passion Fruit Lemonade. This is really good, we've had it before. And these were three for a dollar. Um, had these three things not been there, I would have walked out of the store with nothing. So all of that in mind, um, I think that it is very hit and miss. And I think Jamarelle Stewart has also talked about that. So for me, being so far away from a sharp shopper, 
it would not be worth me driving an hour or over an hour to um, Sharp Chopper for just these things. And we do, the, it is extremely comparable to um, some of the outlet, Mennonite and Amish outlet stores we have near us. So that's what I wanted to say is that if you have a Sharp Shopper near you, um, but you don't have like an a Mennonite or Amish bulk food store, this is like your next best stop. Um, and I don't know exactly, I should have looked at it before I started filming this video, but I don't know exactly the reach of Sharp Shopper if it goes into like all up and down the East Coast. Let me know in the comments if that's something near you or even in your state if this is like something that is more widespread. I think it is more widespread than a lot of the Amish and Mennonite communities. And so that's part of the reason I wanted to visit this store because how many of you say, I wish I had a bulk food store near me? So um, what did I think of the prices overall? I felt like they were fairly comparable to Aldi. And I know not everybody shops at Aldi. Um, I know that a lot of people don't buy their meats. And I personally don't normally buy their meats either. Um, just because we have better local resources for that. And, um, but... As far as like the overall costs of things, prices of things at Sharp Shopper, um, I would say they were pretty comparable. The other thing is too, is it all depends on what you're shopping for, the type of grocery shopping that you're doing. And I think that's really important to keep in mind as you watch YouTubers do budget shopping and things like that. Because if you're someone that shops for more prepackaged things, things like um, drinks and cereal, and pasta making kits and things like that, you may be able to find a really great deal on something like that and buy you know, a whole box of it at Sharp Shopper. Um, but if you're looking more for produce and buying produce in bulk, buying um, more health related, healthy related items in bulk, that I didn't see as much of. So those things in mind, um, I would say that they would be more geared towards a lot of like the conventional things that you see in a grocery store, like canned items and things like that. Um, but still, even in those items, if you're not looking for a brand name, I think Aldi still beats out. But if you want a specific brand name, you wanna save a little bit on that, you may want to do that. Now, if you live really near a Sharp Shopper, and are able to stop in and just look at what they have. You're kind of looking for that needle in a haystack of like these three items. Um, I think that that is very doable and you could stop and kind of poke around. And that kind of seemed like the attitude of everybody in the store that was there. They were very much looking through everything, trying to find things that were obviously what would be a good deal to them. They weren't really loading their carts up with just this, that, and everything else. Um, and so with that being said, I am someone that time is money, a big time for me. I don't wanna have to go to four or five stores when I go to town, take my children in and out of them. And so I would rather be able to go to two stores like Costco and Aldi and be able to get everything I need. The other thing I noticed is that they definitely did not have things in bulk form like you would see at Costco or at a bulk food store. Um, they had, I showed you, you know, the, the candies and some of the other things that they would have bought in bulk and then rebagged um, for resale. But you're not gonna be able to go in there and buy big, huge bags of certain things and be able to save in that way. And so I noticed that like things like uh, laundry soap, you know, you might have a smaller bottle. It might be a little bit cheaper for that smaller bottle, but until you buy a bunch of them to buy, be able to buy a big bulk bottle, you're not saving anything. So with all of that being said, um, if you live near one, it's probably, something you could stop in, see if you can find a great little deal if you have the time to do that. Um, and comparing Costco to all of this, I think I just kind of touched on that. 
but the fact that you can buy something in a larger form and per ounce it's gonna be a lot cheaper. I'm someone that does the math. I like to figure out what is cheaper. <laughs> and so um, I think that it's not worth driving far away for. So if you've been thinking about driving further to check one out or whatnot, um, I don't think, I'm going to go ahead and say it, I don't think that they're the cheapest grocery store in America. Um, I think that there are things you can find like this that are inexpensive there, but I don't think that they quite can live up to that slogan. So um, I hope that this gave you a little bit of insight if you've been considering going to a sharp shopper and seeing that slogan and thinking, is it really gonna save me money? Um, you don't need a membership to shop, shop to sharp shop, <laughs> um, like Costco or Sam's Club and those sorts of things. And I have done budget grocery shopping for years, like doing the calculations. I used to keep lists of stuff like how much things cost at Walmart and how much they cost at Aldi, just to really get an idea of like, where is the best, best place to buy certain items that are of the same quality, you know, it's the same oatmeal, it's the same beans, you know, and those sorts of things. And so um, being able to kind of look at it through that lens and know that it's gonna, you're gonna spend a whole lot more time <laughs> looking through. I think if, it if they would have had a larger quantity or a variety of things that I saw that were like, wow, that's like a super great deal, I think I would have been a little more hyped about it, but just because the majority of the things in the store were the same price as like either a larger quantity of Costco or um, at Aldi. Those are the two things I'm really comparing to since they're the ones I shop a lot. So anyways, I hope this was interesting. It was interesting for me. I've been dying to do a video like this because I do enjoy watching Jamarelle. Um, I have for many years and she obviously is the queen of the cheapest grocery store in America. And so I wanted to stick my foot in the pool and kind of t test it out as well. So I hope that this was helpful to you. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do lots of homemaking videos and um, other types of meal prep content and things like that. And let's chat in the comments. I want to hear your opinions about all of this. I want to hear your opinions about Costco. I want to hear your opinions about um, Sam's Club and Aldi and Walmart and all of that and where you think the cheapest place is to shop and save money for quality goods. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.